Aircraft maneuvering can also induce large flapping angles. For example, side slip and low speed flight at extreme CG position. The risk of excessive flapping and possible mass bumping increases when you allow the aircraft to approach low G conditions. And that's what we really want to talk about. Let's see what happens when a pilot encounters a ridge line or a tree line, executes a cyclic climb, and then noses over using abrupt forward cyclic. In this maneuver, he has deliberately given up G loading on the rotor disc by changing rapidly from upward to downward flight and is approaching zero G. Higher speeds aggravate the situation. The combination of down collective and low G means that lift, and therefore thrust, has essentially disappeared. Let's look at the situation from aft along the roll axis. Absence of thrust means there is no lateral cyclic control, so cyclic movement cannot change fuselage position. The aircraft does not respond because the pilot has given up G-loading on the rotor disc. The thrust of the tail rotor, acting above the helicopter's center of gravity, starts the fuselage rolling to the right. Seeing this, the pilot wants to counter the roll, normally the right thing to do. Tail rotor thrust acting above the aircraft's CG will cause right roll rate to build up rapidly. Alarmed by the excessive roll rate, the pilot abruptly applies left cyclic. The rotor disc tilts in the direction commanded by the pilot. The pilot still has rotor control, but he is controlling an unloaded rotor. That is, a rotor that is not producing thrust. Although he still has fore and aft control, he has lost roll control of the helicopter. Flapping increases drastically. The rotor hub strikes the mast violently. On one side, then the other, and the mast may separate. 